Hey guys, welcome back to my outdoor classroom. It's good to see you guys again this week. Um, before we get started with today's lesson, I wanted to let you guys know that my seesaw classroom, if you were not able to get um, signed into that last week, there is a new code this week. So the new code um, for uh, to join my seesaw classroom is E W O N space F U Y S. So um, just go to the seesaw app, um, choose that you're a student, and then when it asks for the teacher code, um, this is the code that you're going to um, type in there. And then you'll just sign in using your um, Google um, password, ID, and password. All right, so today um, I want us to talk about a symphony. Have you ever heard the word symphony before? Um, a lot of times people will use the word symphony when they're talking about a certain kind of song, and that would be the correct way to use the word symphony. A symphony is actually an elaborate musical composition, and it's usually written for a, the entire full orchestra to play. So if you remember last week, I showed you guys a picture of the orchestra and look at all of those people all of those people holding all different kinds of instruments and um, so to write the uh, uh, symphony you would be writing music for all of these different kinds of instruments to play and there is a very famous composer by the name of mr ludwig von beethoven and beethoven is famous for writing symphonies. Um, just a little bit of background information on Beethoven. Beethoven was born in 1770, so that was a super long time ago, so of course he's not still living today, And um, but Beethoven was born um, in a country called Germany, and he grew up to be a very famous composer. A fun fact about Beethoven is that when Beethoven was about 30 years old, he began to lose his hearing. And he started losing his hearing, he could not hear as well. And before he actually died, he had become completely deaf. Can you imagine how devastating that might be to somebody who had devoted their entire life to music, to all of a sudden not be able to hear anymore and be completely deaf? I think that would be really devastating. But Beethoven did not let that stop him. He kept composing music, he kept writing music, even though he couldn't even hear it. I think that's pretty cool. But Beethoven wrote nine symphonies, just nine symphonies, but they're all very amazing and spectacular. Two of his probably most famous symphonies are gonna be symphony number five, and then symphony number nine. Let's take a little listen to symphony number five and see if you have heard this famous symphony before. that song before it's very famous and you hear it all the time in lots of different things um, one of his Aaron's iPhone one of his other very famous symphonies is symphony number no. nine so when you're looking at this in my seesaw classroom and you're looking at these different slides you can actually click on these two links and you'll be able to listen to both symphony number no. five and symphony number no. nine um, in their entirety. They're both very uh, famous, very spectacular symphonies. Now I want us to think about sym this, a symphony in a little bit different way, a little bit different than just music written for a full orchestra. I want you to think about the symphony that nature creates for you when you're outside. Um, have you ever just gone outside and that and listen. You see here, they're just sitting outside, li 
listening, listening to all of the different sounds that you hear. Sometimes when I'm outside, I get so caught up in what I'm trying to do or what I'm looking at, and I really don't just stop and think about what do I hear while I'm out here. And if you just listen for a little while, you'll hear all kinds of sounds. You'll hear birds chirping and bees buzzing and frogs croaking. And if you live in the city, you're gonna hear cars going by, maybe airplanes going overhead, trains coming if you live close to the train tracks. You're gonna hear all different kinds of sounds. And it's like nature is creating a symphony for you to listen to. So this week, I want you to just spend a, a few, uh, a little bit of time outside and I want you to think and really think about everything that you hear. Think about the symphony that nature is creating for you. And your symphony may sound very different to somebody else's depending on where you're at. If you live, like I said, in the city, you're gonna hear different sounds than somebody who lives way far out in the country. For example, um, right here is a little video clip. This is actually a video that my mother took this week and my mother lives way far out in the country um, and they have cows out there and she went out for a morning walk and she stopped and took this video because um, the cows were out there and there were birds chirping and you could hear the different cows mooing and some would move like a real high sound and some would move real low and then the birds were chirping and it was like they were just all singing out together. Um, we'll try to watch this video. You may not be able to hear it very well, um, but if you're looking at this in the seesaw classroom, you can also watch this video there. you hear all the cows mooing and the birds chirping it really kind of made a, a, a pretty little song so this week when you are doing your nature listening I want you to just take a piece of paper or a notepad outside with you and as you're sitting out there and you're, you're really focusing on listening listening to all the sounds I want you to write down every single sound that you hear it could be a loud sound or a soft sound it might be um, a sound that an animal makes, or it might be a sound a person makes. Maybe you have little brothers and sisters that are running around. That's part of the sound too. Um, it could be nature sounds like birds or the wind. Um, it could be sounds that machines make like cars or automobiles, things on the road. So every single sound that you hear, I want you to try to write down um, what it is, okay? And then after that, you are going to try to decide what instrument in the orchestra would make that sound. So you can see here on my piece of paper, I wrote Mrs. Payson's Symphony, because these are things that I heard outside. Um, and I heard the birds, so I wrote down birds. And the instrument that I think, the instrument in the orchestra that I think might play that sound or make that sound is the flute. Um, I put down the buzzing bee and the instrument that I thought might make that buzzing bee sound it could be the trombone another one that would be a really good um, buzzing bee instrument is the snare drum um, the rustling leaves I was trying to think of something that would make a little shaking sound so I put maracas maybe like an egg shaker or something like that and you know sometimes just the wind blowing itself makes a noise so I put the wind blowing and the instrument that I wrote down was the wind chimes. So on your piece of paper, give your symphony a title. It could be just your name, um, that's fine. Write down a list of all of the sounds that you hear. This is just a few. You may have 10, 15, 20 different sounds that you have written down. And um, then try to think about what instrument do you think would make those sounds? And after you have um, written down all of your sounds on your piece of paper, take a picture of that piece of paper and then post it under that assignment in, in the Seesaw app. 
I cannot wait to see all the different sounds that you guys hear this week, and I hope that you guys really enjoy nature's symphony that it creates for you. Bye!